Okay, this will be the last lesson for Module 3. And this is Lesson 14, um, titled Converse of the Pythagorean Theorem. So, let's just dig in. So, the Pythagorean Theorem states this. It says that if the legs of a right triangle are A and B and the hypotenuse is C, then A squared plus B squared is C squared. So in other words, if I have a right triangle and then I know that I can square the legs, add them together, and that will equal the square of the hypotenuse. Okay, so basically this if part is if I have a right triangle, it's going to have these two legs and a hypotenuse, then I have this relationship of a squared, b squared is c squared. Um, so what we want to talk about is something called the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. And a converse, let's get a different color here. Um, a converse is kind of a type of opposite. And what we're going to be doing with the converse is we're going to be switching the if and then parts. Okay, so if, so we've got if, and we're going to have a then so they're going to be they're going to be opposite. So we're going to say if the lengths let me write this and then we'll talk. So here it goes. So the converse would say if the lengths of the sides of a triangle A, B, and C satisfy let's get a satisfy a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, so if I have these three sides of a triangle and and I c will always be the longest one, but if they satisfy this relationship, then I know that the triangle is a right triangle and c is the hypotenuse. So notice how the if thens just switched. So the Pythagorean theorem starts with a right triangle. I know I have a right triangle. I can find this side relationship of a squared plus b squared equals c squared, whereas the converse starts with the a squared plus b squared is c squared and then says that therefore it's a right triangle and c is the hypotenuse. Um, one thing to know, we have proved the Pythagorean theorem. You can't always just reverse the if-then statements and know that it's going to be true. So the converse of the Pythagorean theorem needs to be proved. We're not going to take the time to go through that proof right now. Um, we're just going to use the converse. But just know that it's not always true. For instance, here's an example. I could say if it is raining then the grass is wet, okay? And we could agree that that's true. If it's raining, the grass gets wet. Um, but the converse of that would say, if the grass is wet, then it's raining. Well, that's not necessarily true. The grass could get wet for lots of other reasons too. And so, um, so there's a case where the original statement is true, but the converse is not true. And so you'll see lots of this in, in geometry proofs and in math and logic as you go on um, in your schooling. But just know that we would have to prove this, and it is proven. So just take it from me that it has been proven. You can look up the proof in, in the teacher notes if you're really curious. Um, I'll likely do it at the end of the year. Um, but I just want to um, get going with these two lessons right now. So anyway, the converse of the Pythagorean theorem is true. So let's, um, let's look at some examples of how that can be used. Okay, let's look at a few examples together, a few exercises. All right, so um, exercise one says that the numbers in the diagram below indicate the units of length of each side of the triangle. Is the triangle shown below a right triangle? 
show your work and answer in a complete sentence. Okay, so notice in these cases here, in these couple of triangles, and you can see the rest of your page, I don't, there's no missing side links, okay? Um, that's because that's not the aim of this. What we want to know is, is this a right triangle? And so I have to be given all three sides to be able to determine that. Um, and so I'm just going to check the, the relationship a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If that relationship holds, the converse of the Pythagorean theorem tells me that this will be a right triangle and the longest side will be its hypotenuse. Okay, so this is going to be my C right here. 15 is the longest. And then my legs are 9 and 12. So what I'm asking is, is 9 squared plus 12 squared? I'm going to put a little question mark over my equal sign. Because I'm saying, is 9 squared plus 12 squared equal to 15 squared? So I get 81 plus 144. And I want to know if that's equal to 15 squared. Well, 15 squared is um, 225, okay? And you'll notice that this side also adds up to 225. So they are equal, 225. And so my answer, my complete sentence answer to this, I'm writing too big, so I'm going to have to erase some of my work, um, would be the triangle shown is a right triangle. Okay, and I know that by the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, that because the sides satisfy this relationship of a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. Okay, so we can check number two the same way. So we want to know where is our c? Well, it's our biggest side length, so this in this case it would be 4.5. So I'm asking myself 4.2 squared plus 3.5 squared. Is that equal to 4.5 squared? Okay, so um, one thing I would like to encourage you to do with this this lesson is to just go ahead and use a calculator because um, it's about using the Pythagorean theorem. It's not necessarily about practicing your multiplication skills, although you're more than welcome to do that if you'd like, but you might, you might rather not. So 4.2 squared is 17 Point six four and three point five squared is twelve point two five and four point five squared is twenty point two five. So what I need to do is add the other two together and see what I have. And you can do it as well. I get 29.89 and that is not equal to 20.25. Okay, so since a squared plus b squared is not equal to c squared, I know that this is not a right triangle. Okay, so as I complete this exercise, I would want to, to make that clear that the triangle shown is not a right triangle. 
Okay, try exercise three on your own, um, just like we did the first two, to determine if the triangle shown is a right triangle. And then pause the video and then come back and you can check your work. Okay, so here's a sample of what you should have written. So what we want to check is to see if 72 squared plus 154 squared is equal to 170 squared. And if it is, then this is a right triangle. So using my calculator, this is what I, I got for 72 squared and 154 and 170 squared, respectively. And when I add those together, I get that 28,900 um, is the sum of the squares of the legs and 28,900 is also the square of the hypotenuse. So what I know is that yes, the triangle is a right triangle. Okay, now work on um, exercises four and five, if you haven't already, and pause the video and come back and check your work when you're done. Okay, here's um, the results. So I just want to point out again that when I'm given these three sides of a triangle, um, and I'm told what they are, I don't need to go on what the drawing looks like or be confused by the drawing because I know the only way for a side length to be the hypotenuse is for it to be the longest side. So I'm always going to test out my a squared plus b squared equals c squared by letting c be the longest side of the triangle. So in this case, in number 4, it's 41, and in number 5, it's the side length 36. Okay, so in the numbers in number 4, check out 9 squared plus 40 squared is 1,681, and 41 squared is also 1,681. So yes, this is a right triangle for number four. Um, in number five, I the, the hypotenuse would be the 36 um, unit length. So I'm checking 10 squared plus 34 squared to know if that's equal to 36 squared. And in this case it isn't because I get 1,256 on the left hand side and 1,296 on the right hand side. It's pretty close, um, so it's going to be pretty close to 90 degrees, but it is not a right triangle. Okay, once again you can pause the video and check yourself on these last two exercises. Um, try them yourself and come back and check your work. Um, and then you'll be ready for the problem set for lesson 14. All right, so here we go. Um, for number six, I would I would be checking one and five as a and b and seven would be c. So I wrote 1 squared plus 5 squared and, and said, is that equal to 7 squared? And it's not because the left-hand side becomes 26 and the right-hand side is 49. So no, this is not a right triangle. In fact, these side lengths couldn't be a triangle at all. It's not drawn to scale, but if you, if you have a side length of 7 here, let me draw this triangle. Um, so if that side length is 7, if you think about it, a side length of 5 and a side length of 1 could never meet. You know, if this was the 5, the 1, and the 7. Those um, ends would never meet to even close off a triangle. So not only is this one not a right triangle, 
it's also not a triangle at all. So um, think about that. It's called the hinge theorem. And the, the two shorter lengths have to add up to be more than the, the longest length. Otherwise, you can't make a triangle out of it. Okay, that's just a, that's just an aside. But let's go on. Let's look at number seven. Um, in number seven, is 6.5 would be our C, would be our longest side. So I'm going to check 2.5 squared plus 6 squared and ask myself if that's equal to 6.5 squared. And it turns out, if I do, as I do the math, that it is. And so I get 42.25 on either side of the equal sign here. So yes, this is a right triangle. Okay, so we've had lots of practice with testing the three sides of the right triangle. And we didn't do an example, but you don't even need to be shown a picture. You can just be given the three numbers and asked to check to see if it is a Pythagorean triple, if, if the numbers work to form a right triangle. Okay, so just to sum this up, this is the lesson summary that is in your, um, in your notes next to your problem set. So the converse, or kind of the, the backwards version of the Pythagorean theorem states that if side lengths of a triangle A, B, and C satisfy the rule A squared plus B squared equals C squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. So... Also, if the side lengths of a triangle do not satisfy that a squared plus b squared is c squared, then the triangle is not a right triangle. So that's what we were doing in the problems, and that's what you will be doing in your problem set for homework. Okay, so this is going to conclude module 3, and after this we'll be moving on to module 3, which is linear equations, which is going to be fun, kind of a change of pace, but we're going to use all of what we've learned about um, similarity and especially similar triangles to, to analyze the graphs of linear equations. So it's going to be kind of cool, pull some things together.